Welcome to SoCal Training Team. I created a step-by-step -step guide to complete the community care licensing application part A. And then also I go into detail of how to write your program design or your program statement, which is part B for an adult residential facility. So it's specific for that type of facility. With this course, it, I'm, I am charging a fee for the course uh, because typically for me to do this process for you, I charge typically around uh, $2,500, $3,000 to set this up for you. But what I'm offering with this course is the same thing that I'm doing for you for that $2,500 to $3,000 or so. I am walking you through the process. So one, you can save some money, and two, you can do it yourself to understand the process better. So with that said, what I wanted to do was go over some of the information that is, will be covered throughout this walkthrough course in completing your own community care licensing application, thus saving yourself uh, some money in the long run. So I, I took the time to Number one, I created a video for each course with me actually completing the form, uh, which is big for you so you don't make any mistakes. And I go from the introduction, just to kind of show you guys some of the course here. I have the introduction and it tells you some important pieces of information. And then it goes into application literally everything that you need to open up your adult residential facility as far as getting the home license by community care licensing that's what this process is for so typically a lot of people yeah they have issues with some of these forms here some of the lic forms where to get your bond those type things but what is really crucial for most people is this part b this program statement part and what I did was I created a whole walkthrough for that program design where you're going to write it on your own. And I even provide a sample program design that will help you out as well uh, with the cover page. So this is literally a step-by-step -step guide, me holding your hand so that you can complete your community care licensing application step-by-step. -step. And I'm going to just play the introduction for you. This is the introduction to the course. And uh, just to kind of give you guys a sample of how to fill out the application. Matter of fact, let's do the introduction for LIC, the LIC 281. I'm going to play you that introduction. And uh, I think you guys will enjoy the introduction. So let me play it. So on this training, I'm going to go through all the forms that you need to fill out for to license an adult residential facility in, in specific. Maybe I'll do the others. If you guys request other application assistance, then I'll do some more videos on those as well because I am familiar with all the different types of facilities. So for the purpose of this training, we're going to go through if Section A. Uh, by facility form type and so I'm going to go through all the forms here in this center section requ uh, that are required. Some of these forms there are some typos here. Uh, I'll give you an example where they put a applicant information 215 and I did not mean to click on that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and scroll down and open that back up so you can see it. But anyway the Applicant information 215, then they put applicant information again 308. That's not applicant information. That's actually designation of facility responsibility. So don't let that confuse you. But I'm going to go through those forms. So all these forms are required for an adult residential facility. All the forms that say required, they're required. But this LIC, this budget information, LIC 420, that's a typo. They updated this, this form. And you don't need to submit LIC 420. But all these other forms, they are necessary except this LIC 420. If you guys want to check with licensing, you can. But I've been doing this for quite a while, and I know that's not one of the form because that's a typo from them updating this form in June. And they didn't, looks like they didn't review it very well. But I know all the forms by heart. So I'm going to go through all these forms and walk you through step by step. If not step by step, I'll definitely tell you what you need to do with the form to 
get it done. And like I said, this is only section A of the community care licensing application. I'll walk you through section B as well, which is the program section, which is probably going to be one of the most important sections to you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy this training and let's go ahead and dive right in. So that was the that's the so on this training I'm gonna go Sorry, through. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. So that's the introduction. Let me minimize that. Uh, so that's the introduction. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna walk you through uh, do a lot of hand holding part A, part B for the application process. Uh, so we'll save you a ton of a ton of money, and then you get to learn the process uh, at the same time. And, and I go through and I give also provide you guys with uh, there's uh, there's an attachment let me actually make the course here let me go back there's actually I actually attach all the forms as well and um, so you can download the forms uh, that I uploaded for you guys and let me go to no I don't want to change that information um, so yeah um, this is this is your step-by-step -step guide so 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 say you want to take this course you want to you want to go through and be able to complete your application on your own so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to I'm gonna start from fresh right you're gonna to go to our website, which is SoCalTrainingTeam.com. You're gonna to go to Learning Hub. You're gonna to go to Business Courses, and then you see the step-by-step -step guide to complete the CCLD uh, application. And is this will save you time? It'll save you money. It'll save you a lot of headache in the long run. And those are the three things that you definitely want to to preserve when you're going through this process. You don't want to submit an application and have it continuously kicked back. And to add to this, if you guys, to, to add a little bit more value to this program, if you guys want or have any questions in regards to any of the applications or something is unclear to you, you can send me an email and I'll answer that question as well. L Singleton at SoCalTrainingTeam.com. Send me an email. If you buy the program, uh, if you buy the course, and uh, you have any questions or concerns or need any assistance, I'll help you through that process as well. So I'll, I'll include that as part of the program. So that's what I wanted to introduce to you guys. Uh, this is a step by step guide to complete the CCOD application, Part A, which is the application, Part B, which is the program design. And this is going to give you the, it's almost as if you have the secret sauce when you have this. Uh, and it will definitely uh, lead you in the right direction. Now keep in mind, this is only the process of getting your, how, your home license. This has nothing to do with placements of clients in your home. That's a whole nother process for you guys. But some of you guys are at this point where you want to get your home license you may already have an idea of where to get your uh, cl your clients from um, and and then you kind of build on on that so this is a video series that provides a detailed step-by-step -step walkthrough of community care licensing application focusing on part a part b you're going to gain valuable insights into the documentation requirements and best practices needed to successfully navigate the application process that's why I designed this so what am I gonna cover what are you gonna learn throughout the course you're gonna be able to understand what the, the CCLD application process you're gonna get a detailed walkthrough of parts A and part B you're gonna get some points and tips on how to avoid common mistakes to make sure that your application is is goes through smoothly you're gonna be able uh, to gather and organize all the required documentation because I'm gonna provide you with the PDF format of all the different forms that you need. I know sometimes there are updates, so you have to be aware of that. And then I'm gonna give you tips for a successful application submission as well, which you'll need. So this is an all-inclusive course. The course is 
uh, will take you some time to go through but by the time you complete the course you will be able to complete your own application on your own and I wanted to provide this to uh, a lot of my clients they come to me and they don't want me to complete their application maybe it could be due to various reasons it could be due to pricing and it could be due to that they want to learn the actual entire process themselves so when they do open up their facility they're familiar with what it uh, the steps of, of how to develop your your residential facility so this is the step-by-step -step of how you do so so uh, if you guys are interested like I said visit the website SoCal training team and you can find out more information there as well so thank you for joining me on this training and I will see you on the next one